Hello! Today, we're going to guide you through MAN's incredible 182-year history, from 1840 to 1950. The first direct predecessor company to MAN was formed all the way back in 1840. But it wasn't until 1908 before they branded themselves as Maschinenfabrik Augsburg Nuremberg AG, abbreviated to MAN. Then, in 1915, the first production of commercial vehicles started. And a few years later, in 1924, MAN presented the world's first diesel engine vehicle with fuel injection and an entirely new type of bus construction, built on a low-frame chassis. This truck had an automotor with 50 horsepower and a weight of 4 tons. The first three-axle MAN trucks were built in 1930 and was the most powerful heavy-duty diesel truck in the world at the time with 150 horsepower. Along with the development of turbochargers for diesel engines and the all-wheel drive for commercial vehicles, MAN introduced assembly line production manufacturing. The plants in Nuremberg were repeatedly targeted by air raids during the Second World War. Nevertheless, the production of civilian commercial vehicles was maintained for as long as possible. But the MAN plant was almost completely destroyed at the end of 1944. From 1951 to 1971. The year is 1951, and the plant had been rebuilt, and MAN was ready with a new model. The MAN F8 short nose trucks. The legendary F8 short nose trucks and buses in the MKN design with alligator engine compartment lid shaped the image of the German streets during the time of the reconstruction. The MAN F8 model enabled drivers to enjoy a vast array of convenient innovations. The cab size was increased, the seat's height and leg length could be adjusted, and some vehicles even had a folding table for meals. It was even possible to sleep in some models. Up until 1954, the tractors, buses and trucks were built in Nuremberg. MAN moved to its new and bigger plant in Munich Alloc due to increasing levels of production. The first truck, a 515L1, came off the assembly line here on 15 November 1955. The 100,000th truck comes off the assembly line in 1965 after only 10 years of production. The main image, both on and off-road for this decade, was the powerful hover and cab over engine vehicle known as the Pausbacke. MAN took over the Bussing company at the beginning of the 1970s. This is how the Braunschweig line found its way onto MAN's product logo. MAN entered into the production and sale of lightweight truck models in cooperation with the French commercial vehicle manufacturer Saviem and later on together with Volkswagen. From 1972 to 1999. The MAN 19.280 was selected as Truck of the Year in 1978. Many more distinctions were to follow. One of the reasons for the award was that the MAN 19.280, with its 280 horsepower, could do anything that other more powerful trucks could do, and they even managed to do it more economically thanks to its fuel-saving engine. With the G90, M90 and F90 introduced in the 1980s, MAN established a vehicle family consisting of a series of lightweight, mediumweight and heavy-duty trucks, which is still around today in a similar form. The MAN F90, which was introduced in 1986, stood for leading-edge technology in heavy trucks and was available of 18 to 48 tons. The engines used were 5-cylinder, 6-cylinder and 10-cylinder diesel engines with exhaust gas turbocharging and intercooling. They covered an output range between 270 and 500 horsepower. No truck was able to convince the jury at the 1995 International Truck of the Year Award more than the MAN F2000. This was the range that followed the heavy F90 models in 1994. The engines were available with 340, 400 or 460 horsepower and were fulfilling the Euro 2 emissions requirements a full two years before they came into effect. The F2000 was available with four cab versions, including one with an innovative high roof. From 2000 to 2019, MAN set new standards in the heavy-duty truck segment with the TGA 2000. In 2001, the new truck series was awarded the Accolade Truck of the Year and won the IF Product Design Award. The takeover of the premium bus brand Neoplan took place in the same year. The MAN TGA introduced this range with a completely new cabin type with a modern interior and exterior and also completely new engines. 
The new engines were 11.3 and 12.1 liter six cylinder engines with up to 530 horsepower, and the legendary 18 liter V10 engine with 660 horsepower. MAN presents the TGL and TGM in 2005, the new series of trucks in the lightweight and middleweight categories. The TGL had a new front design which ensures better aerodynamics and the interior was very sophisticated. The driver's cabin was available in four variants, driver's cabin C, L, XL, and with a double cabin. The TGL had a performance of 240 to 340 horsepower and was available with a four to six cylinder common rail motor. The TGM has a total weight of 13 to 26 tons and has a performance of 250 to 340 horsepower. The introduction of the new generation of engines also took place at this time, with innovative common rail systems and MAN Hydro Drive switchable all-wheel drives. MAN sets a new milestone in international transport solutions with the two new heavy-duty truck series, the TGX and TGS, as successors to the TGA series introduced in 2007. The new models were awarded Truck of the Year in 2008 and were nominated for the German Design Award. The V8 option with 680 horsepower was at the time the most powerful series truck in Europe and was the replacement for the former V10 engine. The new truck had a modernized driver's cab in which the workplace was designed for ergonomics, comfort and functionality, as well as the aerodynamics that had been optimized for new series and that significantly reduced fuel consumption and noise levels inside. In 2014, MAN presents its newest flagship, the TGX D38. Its core element is the new D38 six-cylinder inline engine with a displacement of 15.2 liters and the option of either 520, 560 or 640 horsepower. MAN also incorporated a new generation of safety and assistance systems into the TGX D38. The efficient cruise, the GPS-controlled cruise control system, analyzes the inclines and downhill sections ahead and adjusts the vehicle's speed to save as much fuel as possible. Over the next few years, there were only a few facelifts and updates, but MAN had worked on something big, namely a completely new model range. From 2020 to now. The new generation series, where all models TGS, TGX, TGL and TGM were completely remodeled. On February 10, 2020, the new MAN truck generation was presented to the public for the first time in Bilbao, Spain. The new trucks are the result of five years of intensive development and a total of 12 million hours of passionate work by the 2100 MAN employees directly involved in the project. What's new? Everything! The new truck generation sets standards in driver orientation, assistance systems and digital networking and consumes up to 8% less fuel. Also, new features like the MAN OptiView digital mirror replacement system, the MAN turn assist, MAN comfort steering and a completely newly designed interior of all models. Inside the new MAN Smart Select system has been installed, as well as a new steering wheel setting, not a single part has been used from the old model's interior. In 2021, the ETGM was ready to hit the road and is powered by a 360 horsepower electric motor that provides a maximum torque of 3100 newton meters, which enables it to run 200 kilometers. Plans are to hit 500 kilometer range in 2024 and then hopefully around 700 to 1000 kilometers after that. MAN plans to start series production of electric trucks at its main plant in Munich from 2024. The e-truck prototype presented is based on the new MAN truck generation. However, MAN does not give any further details about the prototype. As part of the project, MAN is developing a fuel cell truck together with industry partners Bosch, Farisha and ZF. It will be exciting to follow the development of this new prototype and see how long a range it gets and what other features they will offer. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for much more.